and I'm an environmental scientist with RetroTech and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about why you might want to do an energy audit on your home. So your home might look something like this. You've got some major mold issues and some major moisture issues and we can look at this and say exactly what the problems are and how to fix them. But it's also possible that your home will look something like this, where you can't really see the problems, the building integrity problems, until they become major issues in the home. Most people have a pretty normal looking house where you can't really see what's behind the walls, you don't really know what's underneath the foundation or behind the foundation walls, and you're not sure what kind of leakages you might have in the home. And in these cases, uh, you could have some serious building integrity problems, or you could have some indoor air quality problems, or you could just have some energy savings that are possible that are not realized because you don't know what the issues are. So getting an instrumented energy on it will really help. So your home acts kind of like a system. It can really affect your health and safety in the house and of you and your family. So the home acts like a system and you have flows in and out of the house. And the flows are between moisture, temperature or heat, and wind and air. And depending on the way that your home functions, you can have the systems all working in balance with one another or they can be out of balance. And when they become out of balance is when you start to develop um, building integrity issues and health and safety issues. And this is something that a home audit test can tell you. Another issue is relative humidity or moisture levels in your home. And so this is a graph here that shows the optimal relative humidity for humans, which is generally about between 38 and 60. And if you have too much humidity either above that or below that, you can end up having some major problems, um, some major health problems and development of mold and algae and um, also some asthmatic symptoms. So indoor air quality is obviously a major, a major issue, it's very important. And you can have all kinds of indoor air quality problems that have nothing to do with the integrity of your home. But you could also have some that are, that are related directly to leakages that you have in your home. For instance, if you have a leak um, where air is coming in from the basement or from the garage, you might have radon gas coming in or you might have um, gas fumes coming in. And you can't really smell or see those things, but they can over time they can really affect your family. And so an audit can tell you how these things work and where you might find leakages in your home. And of course, energy savings. This is something that most people are really interested in. Um, energy costs are going up and it's really important that we are as energy efficient as possible, not just for costs, but also for environmental reasons. And so having an energy audit done will tell you if you have a lot of leakages and where you're losing the heat or the cool from. So when an auditor comes to your house, they'll have something that looks like this. It's a blower door or a door fan, and they'll set it up in your door, and they'll use this fan to pressurize or depressurize your home. And they'll get a result that's called an ACH, or an air change per hour result, at about 50 pascals. And that's, that pressure is equivalent to about a 50 mile per hour wind. And at ACH 50, there's been tons of houses, houses that have been tested, thousands of houses. And so that value, you can relate it to a bunch of other houses that have been tested, and you can see how much savings you can possibly gain from fixing up those leakages. So this is a, a table here that shows these um, ACH 50 values. So a bad house, or a very leaky house, is about 20 on the ACH scale, whereas a good house, or a very tight house, is about 1.5. And so your house will fall likely somewhere in, in between, somewhere in the middle of that range. And the ACH 50 value relates quite well to the actual percentage of savings that you can have on your energy bill. So when an auditor walks around your house, they'll have a whole bunch of different tools that they can use to determine where your leaks are. And one of them is an air current tester. And so it's this little tube that's filled with chemical smoke, and when you squeeze it, the smoke comes out. And the smoke is the same density as air, so if there's no air movement, then it will not move at all. So if it, you go up beside a wall and there's, the smoke doesn't move, then you know there's no leakage there. But when the blower door is running, and you're either pressurizing or depressurizing your home, and you stick it beside a door or a window that you think there might be a leakage in, such as in this image here, then you can see that there is a leakage because the, the smoke is moving. And in this case, it's moving outside, and so we can see that there's a leakage in the window cell there. Another tool, which is a lot more theatrical and aptly named, is theatrical smoke. And in this case, you pressurize the house, so you'd add, you blow um, air into the home, and you'd set up a smoke system in the home and let that go while it's being pressurized. And so all of the, the high pressure in the house is pushing air out of the leaks, 
and when it's pushing the air out, it's also pushing the smoke out. And so you'll see in these images here, you'll see the smoke kind of being released at all the major leakage areas. And uh, this is a really good way of finding out where the major leaks are, in large buildings especially, larger buildings. Um, but just make sure that you make your fire department and your neighbors aware because it definitely looks like your house is on fire. Another tool auditors use is an infrared camera which takes thermal images. And so the one on the left there you see is um, an image of the outside of the house and you can see where it's red is where there's heat. And so there's obviously heat coming out um, on that case. And on the one on the right is inside the home on a floor and you can see what parts of the floor are, are heated and what is not. And one of the last uh, tools that auditors use are duct testers. And so in your duct system, you can lose about 20 to 30 percent of your energy um, in your ducts, through your ducts, which is quite a major amount. And this is caused mostly, the most important time to test your ducts is when your ducts are located on the outside of your conditioned space or outside of your building envelope. So in a crawl space or in an attic, for instance. So it, in that case, you can find out where the ducts are leaking, and generally they'll be leaking to outside or to in the house. And you can find all that out with the duct test. So some of the most common leaks in a house are through the ducts. They're also around windows and doors, um, around seams, so se seams between walls, between the wall and the foundation, and between the wall and the roof. Um, you can also find them around electrical outlets, um, pot lights, drop ceilings, all these areas are things that an auditor will pay special attention to while walking around your house. When you do get an energy audit, you find out where your leaks are. The fixes you can do include weather stripping. So in this case, in the top image here, you're seeing the weather stripping um, of an attic hatch. You can do that also around doors and windows. Um, you can put in extra insulation in the attic, for instance, in this image. You can do ceiling between floors and walls. And you can also do ceiling around windows and doors. Um, another common problem is in a two-story home, you'll have uh, the floor joist cavities that are not insulated properly, and that just allows a lot of outdoor air just to come right into the house. And so if you seal that or if you uh, insulate that properly, you'll definitely have uh, huge savings, and you'll feel the different level of comfort. And also in your attic, because the attic is, the soffits are open to the atmosphere, if the attic isn't sealed properly, you have all that cold air coming into the house, or the warm air, as the season or the case may be. And so doing some better air sealing and also adding some more insulation will really help. So why do an energy audit? Well, you can rate your home and find out where it sits in, in the ACH ranges, how much savings you can gain, possibly gain. You can find out where your leaks are, you can fix those leaks, and you can help your um, Air, indoor air quality, indoor relative humidity, and your comfort, your family's comfort, as well as energy, saving energy, and saving money on your energy as well. So I hope you've learned a little bit. I hope that uh, everyone has something to think about, and you'll go away and call an energy auditor. Thanks.